Dear students, now we are going to discuss the comparison between Butterworth filter and Chepisa filter. The magnitude response of the Butterworth filter decreases monotonically as the frequency increases from 0 to infinity. But in Chepisa filter, the magnitude response exhibits ripples in the passband or stop band according to the types of filter. So in Chepisa filter, there are two types of filters available. One is type 1 filter, the next one is type 2 filters. So based on the types of filter, the ripples exhibit either in the passband or stop band. The diagrammatic representation of this magnitude response is given like this. In Butterworth filter, the magnitude response decreases monotonically as the frequency increases from 0 to infinity. But in Chepisa filter, ripples exhibit in this passband. Here we have considered the type 1 filter. So in type 1 filter, the oscillatory behavior exhibits in the passband. In case of type 2 filters, the same oscillatory behavior exhibit in the stop band. Okay. So the next one is the normalized poles of the Butterworth filter lie on a circle. Here in Chepisa filter, the normalized poles lie on an ellipse. The normalized pole locations of this Butterworth filter can be obtained by using the formula SK is equal to E power J 5K, where 5K is equal to pi by 2 plus 2K minus 1 divided by 2N into pi. In Chepisa filter, the pole locations can be obtained by using the formula SK is equal to A cos 5K plus J B sin 5k. Here 5k is equal to pi by 2 plus 2k minus 1 divided by 2n into pi. Here this k value varies from 1 to n. This n is nothing but the order of the filter. So this is the pole representation of Butterworth filter and Chepisa filter. In Butterworth filter the poles exhibit only on that circle. Okay. But in case of Chepisa filter Poles lie on the ellipse. Okay. So here this A and B represents the major and minor axis value of this ellipse. Next, the order of the Butterworth filter is obtained using the formula n is greater than or equal to log of lambda by epsilon divided by log of omega s by omega p, where this omega s is nothing but the stop band frequency, omega p is the pass band frequency. In Chepisa filter, the order can be obtained by using the formula n is greater than or equal to cos h inverse of lambda by epsilon divided by cos h inverse of omega s by omega p. In Butterworth filter, only few parameters has to be calculated to design the filter. But in Chepisa filter, a large number of parameters has to be calculated to design the filter. So here in Butterworth filter, more transition band is required. Here it is less transition band is required. For the same specifications, that is the same values like alpha s, alpha p, omega s and omega p. The Butterworth filter has more number of poles. It has less number of poles. For the same values, the Butterworth filter is a higher order filter. But Chepisa filter is a lower order filter. So this is very important difference between Butterworth and Chepisa. For the same specifications, it is a higher order filter. It is a lower order filter. So here it has wide transition between passband and stop band. But in Chepisa filter, sharper transition between passband and stop band. The normalized magnitude response of the Butterworth filter has a value of 1 by square root 2 that is 3 dB at the cutoff frequency. But in Chepisa filter, the normalized magnitude response has a value of 1 divided by square root of 1 plus epsilon square at the cutoff frequency. In Butterworth filter, it requires more number of discrete components to construct the filter. It requires less number of components to construct the filter because it is a lower order filter. Okay, that is the major advantage of this Chepisa filter over this Butterworth filter.